yeah, um, I bid you welcome, as uh, Dracula would have said. But now we are in the lair, now we are in Gallery Fiala, and this is actually the only place where my English books are sold physically. They are uh, also, of course, sold in your imagination, but here is where is the real place, and uh, uh, if you see this book, Caldus of the Edda, that is for the super nerds that actually wants to know what the gallery is. Gallery is, of course, if you're crazy, gal, galen, and if you are, um, uh, it's an invocation. So now when you have seen this, you feel the desire to learn the Galdus of the Edda. And here you actually can see uh, how it looks in the manuscript the Codex Regius of the Elder Edda. You will see that and it's also, these are the only, there are 38 Galdus preserved from the Edda. The real incantations when you are interested in that level. Or you can go to the All Military Rough and Tumble. This is a really rare book that actually when you speak about Glima wrestling traditional Nordic wrestling, uh, you maybe ask where the manual is. And here is an example how the Norwegian and the Swedish army trained uh, self-defense or actually battlefield wrestling in the early 1800s. And there is a beautiful half-naked... Um, yeah, this is... A, we cannot show too much, maybe this video will be censored. So, so this, uh, I, I will keep the excitement level <laughs> on hold because um, there is a second book, The Secret Art of Klima, an introduction to Viking martial arts. And there, this is a person who go berserk uh, on, um, on a Viking ship. Um, this was uh, when I was... Um, I hope I, I hope to, almost said that it was when I was over 100 kilo, but I have never been that um, uh, so much to love because uh, here you can see this um, photo, and this is was actually me. Uh, so it's not only uh, wrestling is not only homoerotic uh, male interaction; it is actually. Uh, you can see the body as a sculpture but otherwise it is how Glima can have been preserved from the Viking Age to our time so that can be this is uh, uh, when I have not having my coffee in the morning so 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 they knew that already but we have the the sword beach so this is uh, I am, inside me there is a cart cartoonist that wants to be uh, delivered, be born again. So here, so you are next, you are next. So uh, here you can see, uh, you know, I have nowhere to go, go to hell. So that, that is a, a good way to say answer. And here is uh, the Norse Sorcery Companion, the, rune, the Galdor and, and Runes. So this is actually if you want to, if you are practicing, if you um, want to uh, use uh, the runes and the galleries on an esoteric level and you actually are practicing it, doing the incantation maybe to protect or to hurt other people or to, to gain whatever you like and uh, here is also uh, we will talk about that because this um, um, drawing is actually what I have made some uh, art prints uh, with um, original coloring which we will also will speak about but this is how you act create uh, graphical galdras and, and how you make the uh, the evolution of the runes, which is very important if you want to learn, understand it, and some cool um, galdurs. This is Odin, as you all see, and some uh, ancient Nordic uh, 
because when you speak about the runes, you sometimes um, forget about it's the sound, it's the true sound of the Elder Futok language where, where the key is to the power. Stand. Stand. See, I have the power. Okay, so, so here we have um, uh, the hidden rites the, of ancient Nordic chronicles. So this is um, uh, this is the third in the uh, a trilogy of um, books about uh, the runes, the blue book, and the hidden rites, and also the galdras, because <clears throat> this is one of the things that we, uh, but that many people crave to know. They they, they are. If we go further and not only talk about the myths, you know, the adventure, what are the actual rites? What are the rituals? And um, so this is actually where um, information from the old medieval law books, where, where there is provision uh, against something that you actually can see what, what they want to condemn. And, and there you also get um, in instruction of how the rituals were. And we have used uh, great uh, uh, woodcuts of Olaus Magnus from the middle of the 1500s, where they actually show. Uh, so these are the oldest vi visual presentation of um, of the Nordic rituals. We can see here. Uh, of course, you always invited the animals. You know, when you have drinking party, and and that is a custom that has been lost a little that I thought we should bring back but otherwise we can also see uh, the you the uh, you have to you if you get want to get um, uh, the power of, of, of a power animal you of course drink the blood and you just have killed it so this is a also a tradition that uh, some people seem to have forgotten and uh, here is the masterpiece the history of of the runic law so sometimes when you speak about the runes um, uh, if you say these are not letters this these are not um, sound imitating signs but you see them as um, as having a deeper meaning what is that all about and how can we trace that information or that tradition. So this is about the runic poems and the runic names. Um, what are the real um, living tradition and what has been uh, linguistically recreated. So he here you can see the, um, also facsimiles from the, the uh, uh, old information. So this um, this, of course, we also have the Anglo-Saxon uh, runic poem that was uh, used to uh, understand the ancient uh, Elder Futa. And now, finally, last but not least, here you also have, um, uh, this is real blood. We, we actually had blood uh, yesterday, and, um, uh, and we also have, uh, maybe it looks like a child that has color it, but uh, I have not used um, um, uh, color uh, since I was a teenager. So I'm not now also trying to find ba back the color in my life. But this is, of course, is the short sword beach that is the star again, and this is the Nordic Noir cartoon show. It's the third uh, book that I have written and published, and um, I thought it was. Um, a good thing to celebrate that because it came out uh, in November, yes, the last mo uh, month before, when I had my 60 years birthday. So 60 and 30, there is a real uh, magic in that. And here we have, um, um, of course, it's uh, blatant. Uh, I also brag about all the books that I've written. Uh, there is a piece of that. But we also have um, examples of. Um, my cartoon work that is uh, that I think is an important way to stay stay young in your creative mind. 
So argue, arguments bring out the best of me. So that um, <laughs> so and life is simple when you don't complicate it. And um, you also get a nice, uh, beautiful picture of me. You know, you see the same eyes. <laughs> so, so this is actually. So this can all, uh, the only place you can find this is at Gallery Fjalla, at Bryggen in Bergen. And there is also where we have this uh, art exhibition. So thank you very much. <laughs> and come. <laughs>